Fam, our boy Tyler Shields, my best friend, my BFF that I have never met once in my life, and who I'll probably never get a chance to go near. He's been teasing this big project, some big thing he's working on, just hinting at it. And for a guy who's accomplished so much and done so much and sold so much work, for him to make a statement like that, must it must be a pretty big deal. So that being said, he posted whatever that big reveal is. And today we're gonna watch it right now. We're gonna react to it live and see what's good. See what's good in the photography hood. Cause when this guy does cool things, things tend to happen. So let's see what's happening with Tyler Shields. I want to take a second and explain what this announcement is. I've been getting tons of messages about it. Okay. So for me, I started doing galleries quite a while ago and I've been making my living from that for about 12 or 13 years now. All right. We know Doing that. galleries is something that absolutely changed my life. And as I started to learn that world, I was introduced to auction houses. Okay. And one of the auction houses that I've been working with for the longest time, and they're my main auction house, who I absolutely love dearly, is Sotheby's. Ooh. Sotheby's is the most iconic. Facts. Hey, if you, if you are sold by Sotheby's, you make a money. Auction company in the world they're technically older than america so they've been around for a long long time wait what and working with uh everyone at sotheby's has been incredible but brandy and justine and the whole pr and marketing team at sotheby's you guys have been top-notch world-class incredible people to work with and so now i want to announce that um in conjunction all right what, what is it all right, before we before we find out, what do you think it is? Is it A, he's just selling a lot of shit for a lot of money? Surprise. Two, is it the biggest sale of his life? Three, is he opening his own gallery? I have no idea. What could he possibly do? Like, what's left? He's sold to the biggest art dealers in, in a world that's old in America. What is there left for him to do? That's so exciting. I'm Sotheby's. I'm doing my own show. It will start today and it goes through March and it will be on display at Sotheby's in London. And okay. obviously I'll be linking to it so you can swipe up to see it. Um, uh -oh. It's 25 works. And Ooh. this is, uh, I mean, it's a... Guys, that's huge. Sotheby's in London, 25 works. That means he's probably going to sell all 25 and on top of that, they're all going to be stupidly expensive. Like, this guy is the top-tier selling photographer in America right now that I know of. There could be someone more, but it's him. Huge honor. This is something that not many photographers, living or dead, have ever received. Wow. Um, so for me, this is, a, this is a great accomplishment. And, um, I mean, you know, th th this puts me alongside Avedon, Helmut Newton... Uh, the, the One of the last people they did uh, was Terry O'Neill, who recently passed away. Wow. So basically, this cements him as legendary photography status. Like, the reason why this is such a big deal is because this cements him as an iconic photographer of our lifetime. An, an iconic American photographer. Wow. And so to be alongside these people and the legacy and the history of Sotheby's is just a humbling and amazing experience. And uh, I, I can't wait to see how the show goes. Sotheby's wow. has done a beautiful piece on me. And I'm going to be releasing some videos about how some of the pieces were made, the process that went behind them. Oh, man, and, this is uh, so cool. We get more Tyler Shields know, content. I think if you, if you don't know uh how this world kind of works and and mm -hmm. how big sotheby's is i i mean um, in we... this world this probably doesn't seem like that big of an announcement but um i mean it doesn't you know, it doesn't this is this is the uh this is the equivalent of winning the super bowl or the world series or or you know whatever whatever it is uh that that's crazy to you. basically there's no greater heights as an artist as a finer photographer for him, for any final photographer, there is no greater heights. You can't win the world Super Bowl. It's you win the Super Bowl. This is the biggest honor you can receive on planet Earth as a photographer. I think. Don't quote me on that. Well, what's bigger? Ooh, a little bourbon. What's, what's a bigger honor than this? The London Sotheby's 
exhibition, 25 works, alongside the greatest. Or, well, you know, he's up there with the greatest in line amongst the halls of the greatest photographers the world has ever seen. So basically, he cemented himself in the Hall of Fame here. That's why it's a big deal. This is the highest height you can reach with photography. What's higher? I can't even think of what would be higher than this. I don't know. There really isn't. You, in in my world, this is the pinnacle and the top of the top. Um, yeah. So this is, this is such a huge honor. And uh, I wanted to thank everybody who helped make this happen. Everyone at Sotheby's. Uh, imitate modern for a few seconds there all i heard was i'm gonna make a shit ton of money you're all peasants i came from rags to riches and i still only eat one sandwich a day because there's like this thing where apparently tyler shields works so much and works so hard that he doesn't eat or he forgets to eat or, eat, or he'll eat like one meal a day so just quick little backstory on that joke and just generally all of my galleries and all of my collectors and all of the people who have supported me for a long time you know, uh, this is something that they normally give to someone who's dead and I'm very much alive. So it is just, I want to take a moment and I don't do this very often, but I take a moment to appreciate the fact that I get to see this, um, while I'm still alive, obviously. Yeah. Wow. Um, That's crazy. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just rambling on because I, I'm, I'm rarely stopped in my tracks, but this is a, this is a huge accomplishment and just thank you all. Thank you for watching this and uh, wow. go, check out the, go check out the show. They wrote a great piece and uh, tell me what you think. More to come. Thank you. Damn, this man just reached the top of the top of photography. Let's see if his, let's see what's in his story though. Swipe up to read the article in the show. Okay, yeah, let's see more. I want to learn more about this. I love that this is the first image. Honestly, I am more relieved that this is the first image. This gives me hope, you know? This gives me hope. I like this a lot. It's beautiful. Tyler Shields, Dreaming Awake. Wow. Dreaming Awake. Wow, that's a very interesting title. Oh, man, these works are so good. This is an alligator with a Birkin bag with a model. I think that was his ex-girlfriend, too. Isn't that funny? This photo is just insane. This photo is insane. This isn't Photoshop. He doesn't use Photoshop. All right, let's read this. Sotheby's is delighted to present a curated selection of some of the most iconic works by contemporary artist Tyler Shields in collaboration with his represent, represent, representative Jesus London Gallery, Imitate Modern, best known for his provocative photography that relates to the themes of consumerism, violence, and fantasy. <clears throat> his images play with the notions of gaze, power structures, hyperrealism, and cinematography. Shields actively challenges in his practice the modern concept concept of what constitutes portrait photography by addressing its structure in a shifting landscape Jesus, what, what, do they need this in okay you know shifting landscape of identities and meanings in our contemporary world his vision is to capture a new type of life through exploring the fictional nature of both the historic and the classic why don't they i feel like they missed a lot there like this this second paragraph really wasn't necessary this second paragraph should have went something like this shield actively is pushing his art to the furthest limits whether it's doing a world record setting giant silver plating and print whether it's destroying fifty thousand dollar purses birkin bags or whether it's making 12 people wear monkey suits that look like the oval office that donald trump is sitting in like i, I should have written that second paragraph let's be honest let's be honest you know, oh my God. Can, what if we just call them? What if we call this number and we're just like, hey, can you change that second paragraph? We should, maybe we should write him an email. See, the thing that people maybe don't know is that not only are his photos amazing, but the level of detail he spends and the quality he, he puts into these things are why they're also insane. Like this photo right here, the line in the queen, this is real life. This really happened. There was literally a, a line that close to his girlfriend. How does that? How is that dress flowing so perfect? Like everything about the shot is just so good, so good. Ooh, erotic. Yeah, his erotic photography is pretty good. Gathering inspiration from the likes of Irving Penn and Helmut Newton, eroticism at the core of Shields' practice. In his work, there is a constant search for the sensuality of the subject, and, and as he puts it, the most iconic people have an erotic side to them because they are bold, daring, and fearless. Even if it was just during the moment the photograph was taken. <laughs> I love this one. The cigarettes and coffee. This is one of my favorite photos of his because 
I've heard that if you see this in person, like like with a really nice print, that uh, this photo is like surreal. Like it looks like you're looking into a galaxy. I love that. Look, you can kind of see like her like coochie hairs a little bit. <laughs> I mean, dang, she did a good job that day. You know what I'm saying? She got she got that she got that super Brazilian that day. I love this one with the orchid. So the thing about him is that he probably like waited to find a girl with a, the perfect tongue and they probably waited to find the perfect orchid just for the shot like that is the kind of stuff that tyler shields does 